Hi, I'm Shira Notes, and this is Daily Wisdom. Have you ever heard someone say, I don't really pray, or I've never talked to God? Seemingly stuck here on the earth plane, we oftentimes forget our divine origins. We all come from God, but not only do we come from God, we exist entirely and eternally within God. While this concept is certainly difficult to grasp, Think of yourself as a small bottle submerged in the ocean. If you've ever filled up a bottle in the bathtub, you can imagine this concept. The water represents God, or spirit, and the bottle is you, your vessel. We are all spirit, yet since we are multidimensional beings, we tend to focus only on our fleshly form here on earth. There are many different ways to go about prayer. One is to ask the innate God intelligence within your vessel to help you navigate your life. You might be saying, well, what if I don't believe in God? Good question. It actually doesn't matter whether you believe in God or not, because the ultimate truth and reality is not dependent on our beliefs. In other words, God is there whether we choose to acknowledge it or not. I say this only to be clear and not to sound rude or authoritative. Praying to God for the first time might feel a little bit like making a phone call for the first time. You are sending a transmission. You might ask yourself, well, I don't know if this is really going to work or what if someone doesn't pick up on the other line? Don't worry. It's normal to be skeptical whenever we do something for the first time. When I first began to pray, I would say, Dear Universe, you may use whatever term you feel most comfortable with, as you'll find that the language you use might evolve over time. Now you might be wondering, if I'm going to do this whole prayer thing, what do I pray for? That is entirely up to you, as prayer is a personal and unique experience. Keep in mind that your thoughts and intentions are very powerful, so please only pray for positive outcomes. There are many things you could pray for, such as strength, motivation, healing, financial security. For now, let us start out with a short daily prayer. Dear Creator, Source, God, infinite intelligence and love that resides within and without, please guide my thoughts, feelings, decisions, and actions today for my highest and best good in achieving my goals and helping others and myself. Let all peoples across planet Earth prosper today. May no evil befall this nation, neither violence nor adversity that is not in alignment with divine will. On this day, may all forces of benevolence across the entire galaxy, solar system, and planet prevail in being a source of love and light to all of God's children. Let no man, woman, or child go hungry today. Rather, let all abundant resources flow from lesser to higher need. On this day and night, may God's love and truth be felt by all of its creations. And so it is. Amen. So today I challenge you. How can you begin to incorporate prayer into your daily life in your own way? Thought is a very powerful energy. And when you can learn to align your thoughts with mainly positive intentions, you can manifest a more desired reality. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you.